I am Harit Oberoi and I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you for joining us today on India Bond's investor education initiative, namely Bond Express. Our motive is to make the bond industry more accessible and transparent for you by means of educational webinars where we tie up with industry bodies such as BSC and NSC and corporate webinars where we invite prominent personalities of the industry to share insights into their businesses giving you first-hand exclusive updates on what's happening in the bond market. For today's webinar, we invited management of Credit Access Grameen Limited, who would speak to you about the company and give us insights of their upcoming secured NCD public issue. Credit Access Grameen Limited is a leading India's microfinance institution headquartered in Bangalore, focused on providing microloans to women customers predominantly in rural areas across India. The company is now operating 353 districts in 14 states and one union territory in India through 1,826 branches. Without any further ado, let me take the privilege to introduce you to our esteemed guest. We have with us Mr. Uday Kumar Heber, Managing Director. Mr. Heber is a veteran in the microfinance industry who established that inclusive finance could succeed with the market-based model. He has been the architect behind the transformational journey of building the Credit Access Grameen brand as the leading microfinance institution in India. He is a seasoned banker with over 35 years of rich experience spanning across operations including rural, agriculture, and micro-banking fields. Prior to joining Credit Access Grameen, he held various leadership positions, including head of commercial banking and payment operations at Barclays Bank PLC, and successful stints of over a decade each in Corporation Bank and ICICI Bank. Mr. Uday holds a master's degree in commerce from Karnataka University and is a certified associate from the Indian Institute of Bankers. Our second speaker is Mr. Balakrishnan Kamath, who is the chief financial officer. Mr. Kamath comes with 30 years of experience in finance, treasury, fundraising, corporate governance, and compliance functions. He has held various leadership positions throughout his career from 1993 to 2020 across various industries in the largest multinational conglomerate of India, the Tata Group, covering India and global markets. Before joining Credit Access Grameen, he held the position of CFO and Compliance Officer in Tata Capital Housing Finance Limited. Mr. Kamath is a qualified chartered accountant. We also have with us Mr. Nilesh Dalvi, Senior Vice President and Head H Investor Relationships. Mr. Dalvi comes with an enriching work experience of over 14 years spanning India, United States and Europe markets. In his previous role as the CEO of Dickinson IR, he provided investor relationship advisory services to over 50 corporates across diverse industries like BFSI, media and entertainment, jewelry, textiles, and apparels, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, real estate, infrastructure, etc. A long name list. Backed by his strong equity research capabilities and understanding of equity capital markets, He's a chartered financial analyst from CFA Institute, USA, holds financial risk management FRM certification from Global Association of Risk Professionals, USA, and holds a master's degree in finance and bachelor's degree in electronics from Mumbai University. Over to you, Nilesh. Uh, thanks, Harit, for the kind introduction. Uh, good evening, everyone. So for the next 10 to 15 minutes, I shall spend time running through our uh, brief presentation. Uh, with, wherein we will highlight some of our business trends and uh, recent updates and then we shall open the forum for question and answer session. So as Harit highlighted at the start, Credit Access Grameen Limited is the India's largest NBFC MFI headquartered in Bangalore. We primarily provide microfinance loans to women from low-income households, predominantly in the rural areas wherein we play a significant role in uh, capital creation. We primarily follow the joint liability group based lending model, wherein we form a homogeneous group of women from similar locality with similar socioeconomic background, wherein they can support each other, vouch for each other and ensure strong group 
cohesiveness to support uh, credit discipline and prompt repayment on a consistent basis. Today, we have a portfolio of more than 21,800 crores and we are serving more than 44 lakh customers. Uh, we have a diverse product suite which is uh, catering to the entire life cycle needs of our customers. Our uh, presence is pan India across 14 states and one union territory, uh, wherein we have a branch network of 1826 branches across 353 districts. And over past uh, two decades, we have been expanding in a calibrated manner, district by district, uh, further deepening our presence in rural markets. So contiguous district-based expansion has allowed us to demonstrate consistency in our business across both existing and newer markets at the same time uh, display superior asset quality. We have a customized lending model for our customers, uh, superior, I mean, convenient product delivery mechanism and uh, collection systems which uh, help us to uh, enjoy high customer retention and uh, high uh, repayment track record. Over past two decades, we have delivered strong growth as well as financial performance. Last year, FI23, we ended with an annual profit of 826 crores. And in the first quarter of this financial year, our profit has been 348 crores. Today, we have our organization has close to 17,391 employees, out of which over 12,000 employees are the loan officers who are engaging with our customers on a day to day basis. We had a humble beginning in 1999, wherein we started our operations in form of an NGO. And later in 2007, we transitioned into NBFC. Subsequently, we were able to attract growth capital from various uh, global and international investors, which allowed us to scale our business uh, over past two decades. In 2018, we got listed on NSE and BSE. And further in 2020, we successfully acquired uh, Madura Microfinance Limited, which was the 10th largest microfinance institution at that time. And subsequently in 23, we have now amalgamated and stand as uh, one uh, company with uh, expanded network and presence. Uh, look, coming to our corporate structure, so Credit Access India BV is our promoter. It is based out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands. They are owning around 66.77% in our company. And we have a wholly owned subsidiary Credit Access India Foundation, which, is, which uh, executes our CSR initiatives. <clears throat> As on June uh, 2023, uh, Credit Access India continued to hold 66.7% stake. Uh, our promoter specializes in micro and small enterprise financing with the experience of over two decades. And uh, they have uh, consistently supported us through multiple cycles and have uh, infused capital through multiple rounds over 2009 to 2000, I mean, 2017. And given their European presence, they have also helped us with access to global fundraising opportunities, leveraging their network and uh, relationships. Uh, coming to a shareholding, shareholding pattern, in addition to promoter, we have a very strong institutional investors backing our business. So we have a foreign investors up to 10% of our holding. In domestic investors, we have leading mutual funds, AIFs, insurance companies, which are holding together close to 12%. And balance close to 11.8% is held by other entities and the public shareholders. Credit coming to our credit rating. So today we are rated double A minus with a stable outlook by ICRA and India ratings. And Crisil also rates us A plus with positive outlook. Now in microfinance industry, double A minus rating is the highest rating uh, for a pure standalone microfinance institution. And our credit rating has, in fact, been upgraded over last one year, uh, purely basis our strong track record demonstrated on a cross-cycle basis, including the COVID-led uh, business disruption, which was caused during FY21 and 22. Despite that, we were able to demonstrate stronger performance, which has helped us in uh, improving our rating outlook. 
we also have uh, highest rating of m1 c1 from chrysil uh, which is the microfinance uh, comprehensive microfinance grading so here m1 basically signifies <clears throat> highest capacity of a company to conduct microfinance operations in a sustainable manner and c1 signifies excellent uh, performance on the code of conduct dimensions so we have been able we have been maintaining this rating consistently over past uh, close to 7 years now coming to our business model we have key differentiators which uh, i will highlight on this slide and we shall uh, take uh, we shall go into more details in the subsequent slide so we have a customer centric business model which allows us to have high customer retention our contiguous uh, expansion approach helps us to replicate our business consistently across uh, the newer markets we have a strong technology backend which drives our operating efficiency uh, we continue to follow the classical jlg model for our microfinance operations uh, risk management has been deeply ingrained in our every operating process and uh, we have a very strong experienced uh, senior management team with robust internal audit and control framework so we believe that we are uniquely positioned to capitalize on the highly underpenetrated uh, credit in the rural uh, markets uh, coming to our product offerings today we are a one stop shop for our customers offering wherein we offer them a diverse product suite <clears throat> uh, providing them financial support for their business purpose education festival medical uh, home improvement etc our lending rate is uh, one of the lowest in the industry and we have been consistently uh, being uh, able to offer affordable credit to our customers uh, our customers are able to avail multiple loans with flexible ticket sizes meeting their uh, requirements and we also give them option to choose their own repayment frequency whether they want to pay us on weekly basis or biweekly basis or monthly basis depending on their uh, business cash flow so all these benefits lead to higher customer satisfaction and higher customer retention which eventually contributes in uh, operating cost efficiency for us as we are able to retain more customers and earn more business out of the existing uh, customers Uh, coming to our expansion approach as highlighted earlier we follow a contiguous district by district expansion approach which allows us to replicate our business consistently in the newer markets as well as implement strong risk management and a uh, control framework today out of 353 districts around 93% of our districts contribute to less than 1% of the overall portfolio and we have no single district which is more than 3% of the total a portfolio so we have achieved a significant amount of diversification at district level across our operating geographies our technology backend is uh, one of the best in the industry we were uh, first in microfinance industry to implement core banking solution in the year 2015 so robust cbs it allows us with high levels of automation controls and flexibility today we have digitized our all customer touch points end to end our field staff is equipped with handheld tablets for managing all field operations we are able to uh, digitally onboard customers with faster kyc and credit bureau checks and overall the tailor made product offerings provide lot of flexibility to our customers at the same time the internal risk audit and control systems have also largely been digitized to enable real time field risk monitoring uh the joint liability group mechanism it is very important important in microfinance business because microfinance loans are largely unsecured in nature so the jlg mechanism it acts as a social collateral and the group cohesiveness it helps in strong bonding uh which creating support within the members also helping us to build awareness uh, manage grievances and then at the same time ensure good credit discipline and our business operations are fully aligned with the new harmonized guidelines uh, from reserve bank of india in jlg mechanism we have multiple layers of checks before we onboard the customer and also once the loan is disbursed so that allows us to maintain high asset quality on a consistent basis microfinance is we always say that microfinance is a collection business 
and that's why risk management is integral to our operating processes so whether we take customer due diligence the target markets where we are operating contiguous district based expansion uh, intensive customer engagement wherein we largely do weekly meetings we engage with our customers on weekly basis which allows us to identify risk indi early risk I indicators and accordingly take proactive uh, mitigation measures and this has weekly engagement has allowed us to demonstrate high repayment rates on a consistent basis our human infrastructure is very robust so we have around close to 7 to 8 loan officers at a branch every branch has around close to uh, has around two branch managers every 5 to 6 branches we have a area manager every 20 to 25 branches we have a regional manager every 40 to 50 branches we have a, a, a regional manager every 100 to 20, 120 branches we have zonal managers which eventually report to business heads all the field officers what uh, we typically hire fresh from the rural communities so that they have a strong understanding of the rural markets and then they are made to go through two to three weeks of uh, pre hiring training program which uh, wherein we are able to instill our culture and organizational values uh, in 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 the employees when it comes to risk management we have a three pronged approach of internal audit quality control and field risk we audit our branches more than six times in a year which is uh, one of the best in the industry the quality control team complements the internal audit team for uh, uh, identifying early risk warnings and taking corrective measures and the field risk control also uh closely monitors the field operations along with audit and quality control of teams coming to our key performance highlights we have consistently demonstrated positive alm which plays a important role in driving our growth so even as on june there was a five months of uh positive mismatch between the average maturity of assets and average maturity of liabilities so positive alm mismatch is critical to support business growth manage any short term volatilities in the credit market and ensure high levels of liquidity on a consistent basis uh, over last 3 years we have been able to grow our portfolio at a cagr of 23% this is despite the disruptions caused by covid pandemic a uh, branch network has expanded at a cagr of 12% and customer base has expanded at a cagr of 6% we have consistently focused on geographic diversification so a share of our top 3 states which was at around 78% in fy22 has now come down to 73% as on june and we believe that we should see this shift happening on an annual basis over next 4 to 5 years Uh, there has been a significant improvement in our revenue profile as we can see in fy22 our revenues grew by 11% in fy23 they further grew by 29% to 3551 crores and now in first quarter we are having around 1171 crores of uh, revenue so the revenue run rate has significantly picked up in the in this financial year we also see the net margins have large have uh, consistently improved over last 3 years our profit after tax has significantly ramped up from 127 crores to 826 crores in fy23 with 348 crores of profit in the first quarter of fy24 translating into eps of 21.8 in the first quarter our repayment rates currently are close to 99% so they had uh, fallen to around 92 to 93% uh, during fy21 and 22 because of the covid pandemic but uh, we were able to quickly recover our uh, asset uh, quality and today repayments are around 98.7% the next chart on asset quality we can see the gnpa or gross tax free asset is 1.21% which is measured at 60 dpd as against the industry standard of 90 dpd and the net npa is at 0.35% as on march we have a strong equity capital of more than 5000 crores as on june and uh, capital adequacy position of 23.5% at tier 1 
and total capital adequacy of 24.4 percent coming to the issue details ak capital is our lead manager catalyst is our debenture trustee india ratings has rated double a minus for the issue khetan and company are a legal counsel icsa bank is a banker to the issue deloitte and pkf shridhar and santanam are our joint statutory auditors whereas k fintech is our rta key highlights of the issue so this is a secured listed redeemable non convertible debentures double a minus stable rated by india ratings this is a tranche 2 uh, with a total size of 1000 crores which has a base issue of 400 crores and a green shoe option of up to 600 crores the issue will open on 24th august and will close on 6th of september with an option for early closure our company shall be maintaining a minimum 110% of security cover which will this cover is on the principal and the interest uh, repayment for the entire tenure of the ncd for the other covenants uh, we request you to refer to the transaction prospectus uh, we have total eight schemes uh, for these uh, for these ncds wherein the coupon rate <clears throat> for the scheme 1 and scheme 2 is 9.1% translating into a cumulative return of 9.48% this is a 24 month scheme then the 33 month schemes the coupon is 9.25 whereas the cumulative yield goes up to 9.64% for the scheme 5 and 6 which is 50 months tenure the coupon is 9.4 and effective yield goes up to 9.81% whereas for the coupon whereas for the scheme 7 and 8 the coupon is 9.7 uh, payable on monthly basis in which the effective yield goes up to 10.13% uh,